Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up WordPress project. You will learn how to download WordPress files, set up database, and install WordPress. Okay, let's get started. First step, make sure you have installed Xamarin Server on your system. If not, I have already added a video about it. So please uh, tap the link given in the description below or it will pop up somewhere here in the screen. The next step is to download WordPress. To download the WordPress file, open your browser and search for WordPress download where you will see wordpress.org. Once you click on it, it will navigate you to the download screen from where you can download WordPress by clicking on download button. For this, it will take a couple of minutes to download. Once your download is done, move your downloaded file inside your SCDocs folder. It's in ZAMP. Let's extract the file. I don't want multiple sort directory, so let's move it and rename the project name. Now it's time to run the project. To run your project, you have to start Apache and MySQL server. For that, you can click on Jam Control. Once you click on Jam Control, you will see a pop up screen where you need to start Apache and MySQL server. Okay, we have done it. Now run the project from browser. Let's type localhost slash your project name. For my case, it's localhost slash test project. Now you will see the new screen for language selection. Please select what you want. Before proceeding to next screen, we have to set up our database from where we will get database and its username, password and host name. For that, let's run phpMyAdmin from browser. Now in this screen, you can create your database. For me, it's test underscore db and select utf8 underscore unicode underscore ci and click on create. We have created the database successfully. To get database username and the password, you can click on privileges where you can create your own credentials but for now I'm going to use default which is root its password is not given now let's get back to the installation screen and click on let's go button we have new screen here provide your database connection details and click submit click run the installation now here you are at the final step of installation so fill all the information site title username and password for your admin login confirm password your email and check on discourage now click on install wordpress okay now the installation is done we can log in with the credential we have given for the admin panel this is the backend section from where we'll manage our site in upcoming videos we'll discuss about it for now let's visit the site here we can see the default layout so in upcoming videos we'll install other theme as well and customize them so if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe our channel thank you for watching see you in next video